Muscle Nutrition. I'm at Metroflex Gym in Plano here with uh, Tyrus Hughes. Um, he's a national level bodybuilder here at Metroflex. Um, today we're going to talk about a, a little bit of arm training technique. Um, everybody wants to have good arms, whether you're a bodybuilder or just work out recreationally. Uh, a good set of arms um, is something that everybody works for. Um, you can make or break your arm training with, with your form and technique. Um, so we're going to go over a few popular exercises um, and teach you just a little, little ways to, to correct yourself so that you can get the most out of your training. Um, we're going to start here with an easy bar curl, which is a, a kind of a bread and butter biceps exercise. You can use a lot of weight to really stimulate growth. I would suggest doing this pretty heavy at the beginning of a workout. So let's go over a little bit of the, of the form as, as Tyrus does the curls here. You can vary your grip, uh, whether you're, you're grabbing wide will work more the inside of your bicep or inside, or inside grip will hit a little more on the outside. Um, Tyrus has got a, a middle grip, which is going to be great for overall bicep development. Um, you want to be sure uh, to, to pay attention to your elbow placement when you do this. Um, as your elbows come back, you're going to limit the range of motion that you get in the bicep. So you want to keep those elbows forward. It will limit the weights you can use, but you'll engage more of the bicep when you curl. So notice Tyrus is keeping his elbows forward. Um, another thing is, is don't use so much weight that you have to swing it or that you can't control the negative. He's getting a good contraction at the top and he's controlling it on the way down. Now, this is not a lot of weight for him. Um, you know, we're, we're going to make him do some reps here to show you how to do it. But, uh, you know, make sure to start with a weight you can handle. Um, get a good contraction and control on the way down. Okay, now we're over at uh, what's called a preacher curl. Um, pretty much any gym uh, that has any bit of uh, uh, equipment is going to have this and it's a, it's a great isolation exercise for the bicep. It, it really, uh, because of the way that your arms are propped up on the pad, um, it's going to take out any complementary muscles to help you lift the weight so that you're really isolating your biceps. But you have to do it correctly because there's a uh, hundred different ways to cheat this movement and uh, you know you may be able to move more weight but you're going to be getting less done and your biceps aren't going to grow as much so um, I'll show you here as, as tires do it when you, when you set up you want to make sure that you get your triceps on the pad don't put your elbows on the pad because that's just going to give you leverage and you're going to be doing less work with your biceps so push your chest and, sh and armpits over the pad so your triceps are here and you want to start at a full extension so you know, if, if you're weak at the uh, extension of, of the uh, muscle when you're fully extended, you, you know, you're, you're going to be weak for the whole motion. You don't want to stay in that strong point because you're missing uh, a, a bit of growth that happens here at the bottom. So we'll let Tyrus do some reps here and, and really show you. So he starts all the way down, comes up, he gets a contraction, he's controlling the weight on the way down. Um, you know, there's no swinging. He doesn't have his elbows on there for leverage. You know, you keep your triceps on the pad, you're squeezing your bicep, you're controlling the negative just like we did in the curls, and you're really isolating the biceps here. It comes all the way down, his elbows are all the way extended, it comes all the way back up. And that's the best way to do this preacher curl. And this is an isolation movement. Uh, because it's uh, supported, I would do this uh, you know, mid to end of your workout. Uh, when, when you're more fatigued from your heavy movements like heavy uh, easy bar curls or hammer curls, whatever you want to start with, um, this is a great finisher. Well, we just finished up some arm training and uh, just like the little small techniques are going to make, make a difference in your arm training, so will the, the little things in your nutrition program. So post-workout, the most important thing is getting a, a good serving of protein so you can start the recovery process immediately. Um, whey protein is a uh, tried and true uh, best thing you can take post-workout. Um, you know, depending on your body weight, it's going to depend on how much protein you need. For the most part, um, if you're trying to put on muscle, um, or even if you're dieting for, uh, you know, for a contest or for a vacation, um, and preserving muscle is key, I would recommend between 40 and 60 grams of protein um, after your workout. So, uh, Tyrus here is going to take two scoops, which uh, of the muscle weigh here is 48 grams of protein um, and, and that's going to start repairing the, the damage that he did in the gym and, and uh, making his arms grow.